And again, a very good Sunday morning. Thanks for joining us on the show. As I said a little earlier, we've got a great show in store for you today, and I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. Well, folks, the Healthy Hearts 5K is coming up. It's just around the corner. It's a great event for you to get involved. It's a great event for the entire family and couples. We'll talk a little bit more about that on the show today. We have Mr. Dan Caldwell and Carrie Lamprecht. Thank you guys both so much for being here. Thank you for having us. So this is a fantastic event that you have coming up. We won't talk about the event right now. Let's talk about why you're putting on the event and also a little bit more about the McAllen uh, Heart Hospital too and what it is that you guys do there. So uh, again, thank you so much for having us here. We're uh, here to uh, invite people in the community to come join us for our third annual uh, Healthy Hearts 5K Walk and Run. Uh, and we have two main purposes, and one is uh, to continue to raise awareness uh, about heart disease. Heart mm -hmm. disease remains the number one killer of Americans. Mm -hmm. Cancer is a close second, but heart disease is still the number one. Uh, and uh, we are partnering with the American Heart Association in this, in this fun run. Uh, so number one, to talk about heart disease, to talk about prevention, early detection, and treatment. Uh, and also to raise a little money for the American Heart Association. They do some wonderful work uh, over the years, and in fact, they've, they've achieved some great results in reducing mortality over the years uh, for heart disease. I mean, what about the McAllen Heart Hospital itself there? Obviously, you're focusing on um, heart disease and, and, and kind of educating the public about heart disease. What is it that, uh, that you primarily focus on there at the McAllen Heart Hospital? We're, we're one, of the, one of about a dozen freestanding heart ha hospitals nationally. Uh, wow. we're, a, we're a unique model. We focus on heart disease, and so we like to think we're a little bit better about it because we have that luxury of focus. Right. Uh, and we're, we like to think of ourselves as the premier location for heart emergencies. Okay. Uh, and we're partnered very closely with a great group of cardiologists called the Heart Clinic, and we work very closely with them, uh, again, in, in terms of working, doing a lot of work on prevention, detection, and treatment of heart disease in uh, a lot of areas. Uh, but uh, particularly for heart attack care, Right. Uh, we really, uh, because of our size, uh, we've really developed uh, the processes where we can get somebody there who may be in the pro you know, may be having a heart attack. Mm -hmm. We can get them back to that life-saving treatment very, very quickly. We've worked very hard on on that speed. You know, you speak about heart attacks. A, a lot of folks, uh, maybe like myself, a little uneducated about heart attacks. You know, for myself, I used to think, okay, normally you get a heart attack in your maybe your 60s or early 70s. 70s, but I mean, literally, uh, you can have a heart attack anytime. Um, what are some of the symptoms maybe of, you know, hey, I need to go to the McAllen Heart Hospital. When should I go in there? When should I talk to somebody? Or recently I've been having shortness of breath or I've been feeling like there's been an elephant that's been stepping on my chest. When is that time to kind of come in there and talk to a cardiologist? Well, the things you mentioned, uh, and, and in addition, uh, they talk about pain that radiates down your left arm and up mm -hmm. your neck and uh, tightness in your chest and sometimes it's uh, you know a funny fluttering so if you have sensations like that uh, in in that part of your body that are not normal that are unusual that concern you go yeah uh, it's better to go and it be a false alarm mm -hmm. yeah. and to really need to go and you don't go because you know particularly men are hesitant to go see doctors yeah and, and so we urge people if you're if you're feeling any of those symptoms that that you mention and and one thing we'll mention, uh, we also think a lot about women sometimes feel those symptoms just a little differently, even extending to sometimes back pain. Oh, wow. Uh, so, um, so there's a fairly long list of, of things, and we, we have some of those listed. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, if, if you have any uh, suspicion at all that you may be in, uh, in the process of maybe early stages of a heart attack, Please go go to your nearest nearest emergency room and, mm -hmm. and come to Heart Hospital emergency room and, and we'll check that. Yeah, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Now Absolutely. another great thing uh, to make sure that you are heart healthy is of course exercise. And you guys have a great mm -hmm. event. You spoke a little bit about it earlier. This is the third annual uh, Healthy Hearts 5K that you have coming up here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this event here, uh, when it is, where it is, and also uh, I know it's around Valentine's Day, which mm -hmm. is kind of interesting for couples who want to get involved. Yeah, uh, um, well, February is American Heart Month, mm -hmm. so that that's one reason we do this in February, and the other is it's themed around Valentine's Day, yeah. and that's when people are, are thinking about their loved ones, and um, we want to encourage people to bring someone you 
your love, whether it's your entire family or your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, and um, this is a great way to kick off your Valentine's Day weekend and um, also fulfill some of those New Year's resolutions. Yeah. Um, so all the stuff that we're, we're talking about with heart attack prevention and care, we're, we're going to have an um, expo there in the morning at 7. So when you come get your t-shirt and your, your number and um, get ready to, to get the walking done, um, we're going to have lots of educational displays, screenings available, um, nutrition information. So uh, all the things that will help you um, better your heart through the year, we'll be teaching you that morning uh, before we kick off the, the fun run and walk at, at 8.30. So it's on Saturday. Okay. Um, February 11th, the mm -hmm. weekend before Valentine's Day, and uh, the expo's at 7, we do the walk at 8.30, and it's a 5K, which is 3.1 miles, if you don't know the conversion. Which is nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> it, this is a non-timed event, so it's really, um, it's for people who are, don't, it's not the competitive race. Right. We, we just, we encourage everybody to come out, from kids to seniors and everybody in between. Yeah, this is a great opportunity just to get out there and to exercise, get your heart pumping a little bit, mm -hmm. get that blood going in your body. Uh, folks, if you're just tuning in right now, we're talking to the folks from the uh, McAllen Heart Hospital about a great event they have coming up here. It's the third annual uh, Healthy Hearts 5K just around the corner in February. Uh, Valentine's Day, just before the Valentine's Day weekend on February 11th. Uh, this is a great opportunity for the couples, you and your husband, your boyfriend, whoever, girlfriend, to get involved, get out there, have a little bit of fun. Um, I, real quickly here, where is the race going to be? It starts and ends at the McKellen Heart Hospital, which is off of Ridge Road. Our address is 1900 South D Street, but it's right there near Ridge and Cynthia. Okay. Um, that's where we're located, and we use the Second Street Trail, a, a part of it, for our um, walk and run. You can walk it, you can run it, you can bring strollers. Um, so get everybody involved and our early registration deadline is the end of January so if you get in a little bit earlier um, you can save a few dollars. How much and are ticket prices real quickly? The ticket prices for an individual um, $20 if you're registered by um, January 27th mm -hmm. and then if you register as a couple you can both get in for 35 Well fantastic. And you can bring a team which is 10 or more people and do it for $15 a person. Oh great. So, so if businesses want to come out yeah. they can come out. We have prizes and all the money that's raised goes to the American Heart Association. That sounds great. Where can people get a little bit more information whether that's on the event itself or on the McAllen Heart Hospital? You can go to our website mm -hmm. McAllenHeartHospital.com um, also, we're on social media, so okay. check out our Facebook page. We have a lot of um, information there, and the phone number you can call is 956-388-2020. Sounds good. Sounds like it's a great event. I wish you guys all the best uh, with the third annual uh, 5K that you have coming up here. Again, we posted some more information there on your screen. Uh, go to McAllenHeartHospital.com or call this number 388-2020 for a little bit more information about the event or about the McAllen Heart Hospital. Folks, don't go anywhere on this Sunday morning. When we come back, we're going to talk to the folks from the Texas Workforce Solutions Vocational Rehabilitation Services about some of the things that they're offering folks here in the Valley. Don't go anywhere.